And you say, well, I feel better, you know, so I must be pretty good. You know? No, no. But with money, it's to the penny. So you take a look at your income. And if your income is not continually going up, if it's not just continually growing, you're not following the laws properly. You're just not doing it. And now this is where Fuller comes in again. He said, you never fight things by just changing you never change things by fighting existing reality. To change things, you have to build a new model. And that's what we want you to do. Build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. In other words, control the flow of the thought energy. Let it flow freely to and through you, improving everything with which it connects. Now, you can do this and zero right in on money. And that's what we're talking about today. You say money's not everything. I never said it was. But I'm going to tell you something that's very important. Now think of this. You're a mass of energy and you function on frequency. Okay? Now look at this. I'm going to show you something else. See this? This is energy too. If you get on the frequency this is on, you can't stop it coming. What did he say in here? He said when the money starts coming, it'll come so fast and furious, you're going to wonder where it was hiding through all the lean years. And he's right. Most people don't understand that. They do not understand. They think you've got to go to work. You just got to work a little harder. Get out there. Put in more hours. Wrong track. Now look it. Einstein gave us some wonderful information. He said the intuitive mind, that's the higher faculties, is a sacred gift. The rational mind's a faithful servant. That's our senses. Okay? We've reached... We've created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Well, we want to start using these higher faculties. That's how you're going to create the wealth. Now, I showed you this yesterday, and I'm going to touch on it once today. But I want, you, I want you to get this. I want you to copy this down. And I want you to pay attention to it. And you just repeat this over and over and over again. Genevieve Birand uh, was a student of Thomas Troward. Thomas Troward, I believe, is one of the greatest authors of the last 500 years. Uh, this is one of his books that I have in a book stand here in front of my desk. I read those two pages every day, have for quite a while. It's Thomas Troward's work. Well, Genevieve Birand was his only student. She had to attract $20,000 in 1912 to go and work with him. And it's through studying what I'm putting on the screen here that enabled her to do it. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to grasp this overnight. You've got to keep reading it over and over and over. My mind is a center of divine operation. What do you mean my mind's a center of divine operation? Now, look, at, think about this for a moment. Everything has a center. If I have a basketball, there's a point in that ball that's center, and that's determined by the outer side of the ball. There's a point in this room that's center, and that's determined by the other measurements of the room. But when you get to the divine, when you get to God, to spirit, there is no other measurements. You're talking about infinite. When you're talking about infinite, any point is center. My mind is the center of divine operations. So is yours. So is your next door neighbor's. My mind's a center of divine operation. Now, the divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. And this means the production of something beyond what has gone before. This is not a, this is not a repeat performance for you. We're going somewhere where you've never been. Remember when we told you that X out there? Well, the X out there is a place. If your imagination takes you there, you went somewhere. That is a place. And you can grow into that. You can. This means the production of something that's gone on before, beyond and has gone on before. Something entirely new. This is true creativity. Something entirely new, not included in your past experience. However though it's proceeding out of your past experience by an orderly sequence of growth. Now listen to me for a minute. Do you know that everything that's happened in your past has been necessary for you to get where you are? You know, all the good times and all the bad times, they're all necessary. Every one of them, everything that's happened has contributed